Good evening, YouTube. So apparently today, according to the media, was Y2K all over again. It was to do with the, what they call the week zero rollover on GPS units. So this is my Garmin Edge 800. This is my bike GPS. It works fine. The last update Garmin did on this was in 2013. So it's been about five and a half years since there, there's been a firmware update and the time is right and if we go down here system GPS view satellites it the GPS works just fine the time date everything so I was reading some media articles saying oh if your firmware hasn't been updated in the last year or so your GPS is going to crash and not work, and you know, typical media blowing things out of proportion. But uh, yeah, works works just fine. This has the version 2.7 firmware in it, which was the last version that Garmin released. And then I've got my old Garmin Street Pilot 3 GPS, and let's take a look at it. So this unit I purchased in I think it was 2001 and the last firmware update was I think 2004 again so this hasn't been updated in 15 years and according to the article I read it said if if you haven't been updated in the last five or ten years your GPS is not gonna work the only problem this one has is the time is off by an hour because we're in that period of time between when daylight savings time used to start back in the early 2000s it now starts a few weeks earlier so there's a couple of weeks in the spring and a couple of weeks in the fall when the time is off because they changed the daylight savings time date but other than that this works just fine Let's see, menu, menu, second menu, GPS info, and we'll do enter. It's got the correct date, April 6, 2019. And like I say, the only thing off is the time. It's 737 or 1937 on the time. So the daylight savings time for a couple of weeks in the spring, a couple of weeks in the fall is off, but that's not a, a week zero rollover issue. It, Here's an 18-year-old GPS, works just fine, April 6th, so everything's good there. If you have a GPS that was built prior to August of 1999, because that was the last time this week zero rollover, the, the issue is there's a 10-bit week number field in the GPS data, and that works out to just short of 20 years. You have 52 weeks and 20 years gives you about 1,024 weeks. And every 20 years, this number rolls over to zero. So it goes from 1,023 back to zero. So the start was in 1980. The last one was in 1999 in August. And now it's in April 2019. So this unit here will probably be okay until like 2039 when the next rollover is because it knows about this one. I mean Garmin writes the code for these GPS's and they know about those issues. It's not like it's a surprise to them. The only problem is this unit probably has code that says hey if the week goes to zero put that date in but the problem is in 20 years when it rolls over again it's probably going to put 2019 back in as the date so I read one uh, post a fellow had a GPS from like 1995 or 1997 and it failed in 99 but then Garmin released a patch so it was a program you ran on your PC and then you plugged into your data port and it 
uploaded or changed some figures in memory, which were probably what date to put in on week zero. So I imagine, you know, like I say, this unit probably knows when the week goes to zero, put that date in. So yeah, I expect this one may not be working in 20 years, but it's going to work fine until then. You can see it's picking up. We've got six satellites, got 20 foot accuracy, 3D navigation, the time, other than the, the local time. This one was built after the 1999 rollover, and Garmin put the code in to handle that. The way the media is reporting this, it's like a surprise that nobody knew about. I mean, if, if you're building these units, you know all about that that sort of stuff. So it's, it's kind of funny how the news picks that up as being a Y2K all over again. But hey, this works just fine. Just the daylight savings time. Another couple of weeks, that'll be correct. So this has a software version 2.80, which was the last one released in 2004, I believe it was. So this has been 15 years since there's been an update, and it works just fine. They call it the Color Map series. The original Color Map GPS was designed in 1998. And then the Street Pilot 3, I think, came out in 2000 or 2001, and that's when I bought this. But yeah, if you have one of these old units, it probably still works, despite the gloom and doom from the popular media. So, so if you had an older GPS that either worked or didn't work, post up in the comment section below, and maybe we can keep a running tally of, of the units that work and the ones that had problem. Anyway, hope you found that interesting. I'll put some of the other Garmin videos over here on the left side. And as always, thanks for watching.